Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 39, and we're continuing your playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords, The Quickening. No. Uh, we just had a very long discussion with uh, the, 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 last, the Last Jedi, at least a council member, somebody who we, uh, who's holding on to our sword, apparently. So let's uh, let's talk to these handmaiden sisters. Man, now's not the time to be doing any kind of talking about handmaidens. Not getting into it. This is not a politics channel. Why have you approached me? All right. Uh, I'm searching for my friends. You will find them in the main irrigation channel room in the northern part of the plateau interior. The particle emitters there that once governed the flow of water to Telos can double as force cages. Oh. Uh, so they're prisoners? They were caged for their safety mm -hmm. until we could determine your intent. Exile. Atris cautioned us against your tactics. Atris, not Atris. Atris. would create a distraction. Your companions uh -huh. gave us little trouble, however. The male could have presented some challenge if he had resisted, but he chose not to. Uh, no offense to Atten, but I think you're mistaken. Uh, let's go who? Atten? He has had some Ichani training. He masks hmm. it well, but when you are in danger, his mask dropped into a stance we know well. Oh. Where would he have gotten that training? I do not know. The Ichani forms are known to be taught to military special forces throughout the galaxy. If the source oh. is a mystery to you, perhaps you should ask him. It I will be ask him. To know those you travel with. It would be. All right. <laughs> uh, and where's the Evan Hawk? is stored in the hangar. Atris has given you permission to leave this place and permission to return if you remain in her service. Okay, that's good. And what other questions do we ask? have? Uh, never mind. I'm looking for a fight. We're going to come back to that looking for a fight later. We got to get our people back first, and you'll see why when we get there. Uh, why do all of you look the we same? We share the same father, and we all bear the face of our mother. It is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. Um, okay. But the one handmaiden who challenged us when we arrived looks different. Yeah, let's go with that. As I have said, it is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. Uh, so she had a different set of parents. If you seek to raise anger in me, you will fail, Exile. I okay. tolerate your presence only upon orders of the mistress. Hey, she hey. did not order me. We'll get into this later. Questions. All right. Uh, my apologies. One cannot take back an action, and hmm. often apologizing for it only compounds the insult. Simply drop the matter and be silent. Okay. Maybe I'll drop you. No, not yet. All right. Let me ask you something you else. Ask? Uh, what do you do here? We serve the Jedi, and we watch. Uh, are you training to become Jedi, or serve what Jedi? There's not many here. Now, let's go with number two. Uh, let's go, are you training to become a Jedi? I assume you meant no insult. It is forbidden for us to become Jedi. Oh. Even if we possessed the awareness of the galaxy that the Jedi possess, we are here because we are not Jedi. That is our purpose. Okay. Uh, yeah, why would it be an insult? We have taken an oath to never follow the teachings of the Jedi, only to watch those of the Order and carry out Atris's will should it be necessary. Atris okay. believes the new Jedi Order that shall arise here will need to be guarded and watched by those not touched by the Force. She thinks it will give balance. Uh, that's fair. And he watches you. I'm not sure I understand, or she's the one who needs balance. Uh, let's go with who watches you. 
Atris is the one we serve, and she guides our actions. Yeah, but Atris is a Jedi, and you're supposed to watch the Jedi. Atris is trusted. She mm -hmm. has watched Jedi rise and fall and knows the ways of both paths to see the signs when they begin. She is okay, worthy that's fair. to judge the Jedi when the Jedi refuse to judge their own. <laughs> I don't know. She was passing a fair amount of judging when I showed up. Uh, yeah, what a nice corrupt little circle you made there. Sounds like a pyramid of Pizzot cards. If she's truly unbiased, then she may yet prove a good judge. Yeah, let's put her up. And therein lies her strength. We have known Atris many years, and she has shown much wisdom. All right. Uh, I've got some other questions for you. You may ask. All right. Uh, let's ask about this place. We'll get to Atris last. This was once a mighty irrigation center for Telos. It survived the orbital bombardment of the Sith, though the inhabitants did not. Ancient mm. irrigation channels still lie beneath the surface of Telos, waiting to be used again for the reconstruction efforts controlled from this facility. Oh, okay. But why is Atris here? Shortly or Atris? before the destruction of Dantooine by the forces of the traitor Jedi Malik, Atris had many Jedi artifacts and knowledge transported here secretly. Oh, okay. How did she know that? Uh, uh, let, let's go with artifacts. I want to find out about the artifacts. Yes, many relics from Dantooine, some which predate even the destruction of Ossus. She was not able oh. to save all, but she saved enough. She was able to bring them here before the Academy's destruction. It was a fortunate thing. She was not able to save everything. Uh, why? How did she know? I'd like to see any lightsabers in the collection. Oh, as tempting as it is, let's, um... Ooh, why or I'd like to see? Let's go with why. Even the Sith prefer live prey to scavenging a corpse. She thought that a world already savaged by the Sith would not prove a target a second time. Okay, it was a that's place fair. Where the artifacts and the teachings of the Jedi could be kept safely if the Sith could not be turned aside. Okay. How did she know that the it would Jedi be destroyed? The Council sensed it. Master Vrook, Master Vandar. But it was too late to do much except make arrangements for evacuation. It was a dark day for the Order. Many on Dantooine did not survive, Jedi or not. Mm. Atris yeah. would not speak for many days after the attack, and we feared our mistress was lost to us. In time, she regained her voice and her strength. She brought the artifacts and the teachings of the Jedi here and has kept them safe. Uh, let's try this again. Yes, many relics from Dantooine. Okay. She was able nope. to... Nope. And I'd like to see some of this Jedi knowledge. Viewing the relics is not allowed without Atris's permission. Of course. Uh, I could try Persuade. Let's go with if I get permission. Because if I fail to Persuade, that could be really bad. Uh, and claiming to be a Jedi when I'm not, especially since she keeps calling me Exile, that doesn't seem like it's going to be helpful either. So let's go with if I get permission. Of course. I exist to serve the Jedi. All right. Let's go with some other questions. You may ask. And let's go about actress. The mistress, what of her? Uh, where is she? She's meditating. Meditating. And she does not wish to be disturbed. Your presence here has troubled her. And I hope yeah, you don't seems to, to have. her further. All right. What can you tell me about her? She leads us. As she rebuilds Telos, she rebuilds the Order. And through them, the galaxy. And how does she plan to do that? We serve the Jedi. We do not question them. Yet, okay. Atris has told us that the work here at Telos may pay for similar efforts in many worlds along the rim that were destroyed when the Jedi turned on each other. She has said the Jedi Order needs such a foundation if it is to rebuild. 
She faults the teaching of many of the Jedi Masters as the spark of the Jedi Civil War. Atris has said that if Revan and Malak had been properly instructed hmm. in the ways of the Jedi... They yeah, I'm not so sure about that. And nor would you exile. <laughs> High talk, considering she never had a Padawan? No. I chose not because I was trained to do so. I did not fall. Uh... Do we go for proper training, or I chose to go to war not because I was trained to do so? Let's ask the questions. Questions of the the path to wisdom and knowledge, or something like that, right? Unknown to me, I have never observed Atrus to teach Jedi, nor would I wish to. That's right, because you're supposed to not learn the Jedi stuff. Galactic recovery. Once the galaxy breathes again, disciples will come. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Saying she'll transmit her ignorance probably isn't going to help. And she knows nothing about training probably isn't going to help. So let's just, uh, let's go with some other questions. She predicted you would say as much. She seems oh, to know you don't, quite well. I hit the wrong one. Perhaps you are the one who knows nothing. I thought I hit number three. All right. Uh, perhaps I should teach you a lesson that, I, no, 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 I I want some other questions. You may ask. All right, some questions just, about it. What offer? Uh, what can you tell me about her? She leads us. As she rebuilds Telos, she rebuilds the order. Okay, no. Never mind. I'll be going now. All right, she's probably got the uh, the same things to say. Let's uh get our map squared away so we got that to the south which is where the people are we got the turbo lift up to the surface we got that door there which probably goes to the north oh okay that's it okay all right, then uh, let us head a little south-ish. Because we really want to get to the prison. Hi. More of you? Why have you approached me? Uh, searching you for my friends. In the main irrigation channel room in the northern part of the plateau interior. Oh, the, the north. Okay. There that it is not part of my duties. Okay. Oh, the, these, uh... You may ask. Never mind. I need an easier... Alright, so it looks like all the handmaidens have the same things to say. Uh, looks like... So we need to go a little northish then? There we are. Did you find what you came for? <laughs> that depends. What was I supposed to find here? A woman from my past has made this place her home. I did not expect her to see her again. I think so. Perhaps. Yes, our ship will be returned to us. Now, let's ask the, the wisdom question. What was I supposed to find something here? Something from your past here. Something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. Yeah, I feel the same thing, too. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. Yeah, a Jedi, one of the council. She is one of the council who cast me out of the order and wanted to punish me even further. I don't trust her. Well, <laughs> well, I wouldn't exactly call her charming. That is true, too. Stay out of my head or I'll remove yours. Uh, let's just go with... Yeah, let, she was the one who cast me out. I see it now. The act has left its marks. Mm -hmm. Be warned. Unresolved events from our past can create wounds in the present and the future. And more importantly, yeah, I'm noticing distract that. you, weaken you. It could prove fatal against the enemies we've So you keep telling me. Uh, oh, I guess I didn't mention that. The, no, I thought that. Yeah, one of the council. 
There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students, and this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. Um... I knew the handmaidens weren't students, but I didn't realize they were unable to feel the force. Yes, her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls trained to resist tricks of the mind. This discipline blinds them to the force as well, even if they oh. were force sensitive. <laughs> How do you know? Were you trying to read their minds? Did you use. <laughs> Yeah, let's ask. Invade the mind of another? It is not something done carelessly or when there is nothing to be gained. Mm-hmm. All right. Then uh, she plans to heal the galaxy, then the rebuild the order. Things, and life often dashes <laughs> expectations to the yeah. ground. Perhaps Tell me about that come one. To her in time. For now, she is surrounded by those who cannot feel the force. All right. Uh, yeah, we're back around that go around. We may be able to gather students and allies on our journey. Let's go. Yeah, let's go with that one. Very well. Let us depart. Uh, is that an okay? He looks out cold. He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here uh, has it, fatigued it's him. It's fatigued him. Uh, he can sleep on the ship. Let's go. I am sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. There's nothing to apologize for. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, no. Let, let's go. Let's go with the light I'm fine, answer. General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? Jedi Academy. Not now. Just get to the ship. We can talk later. Um. Ooh. Do we go the paranoia route or the full truth? Let's go the full truth. This must be where I had detected the energy readings before and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system. Because it is. Planet wide. Like the because one it is. I'd been told by the Republic that it was not in use. Uh, <laughs> this will be a new home if your wounds could slow me down. Understand. Are you well enough to travel? Keep silent. Just get to the ship. Uh, let's ask if he's well enough to travel first. I am, General. If you wish, I may travel with you or join you at the ship. Uh, come with me. Just go to the ship. I'll deal with your failure later. Meet me at the ship and prep it for launch. Alright. Yeah, this is where I'm going to need to figure out who's in my party and who's going to the ship. Uh, let me... Let me send him to the ship to, uh, to prep it for launch. Very well, General. I will await your arrival. Two party members left are Atten and Karelia. And Bowder will meet you at the Ebon Hawk. Mistress, you summoned me. Oh, more talking. I have a task for you. The exile is dangerous. I'm concerned that he was able to return to Republic space and reach Telos without my knowledge. Mistress, the Harbinger was lost in transit. It was our failing. What is done is done. But now I need you to travel with him. Mistress, I realize oh. what I'm asking of you. And I'm asking that you keep your purpose a secret, even from your sisters. I need someone to oh. watch the exile closely. And let me know if he contacts the Sith. More importantly, I need you to study him closely. I need to know what he thinks, what he does. Become part of his group. Earn his trust. Get him to confide in you. I will do as you ask, Mistress. Oh. But mistress, the exile did not seem to pose a threat to us. Ah, no. but he does. Do not be fooled by the exterior. It is his nature you must beware. He fell to the dark side once. He will do so again. I am trusting Are you sure that I actually fell? 
Last of my handmaidens, do not disappoint me. The galaxy, the Jedi, may depend on it. Last of the handmaidens? Influence gained. Oh, nice. And late side points gained? Okay. I like both of those. Alright, that's right. I still got Atten hanging out over there. Let's, uh... Let's finish exploring this area. And see what else we can find. Hey, come on, man. Anything else? Alright, um... Alright, so that's where the Evan Hawkins. Sorry, double checking my notes real quick. Alright, let's uh let's finish exploring the south side first. The handmaiden sisters have nothing new to say. There's no other items in here, but there is a nice room with all sorts of fun stuff. Alright, what is behind door number one? We've got a container of Ooh, who's got the Dark Jedi Knight robe? Oh, uh, I probably should have kept Bowder, there. Unless I can find a workstation. Because I'm wondering if any of those robes are better than what I've got right now. Alright, what do we got here? Ceremonial armor, maybe good. Alright. And in here, table, computer. Ooh, this one was locked. <laughs> Sistec Static Blaster. Might have to poke around on the inventory during the uh, intermission. What else we got? The one room with no loot. Alright, and we've got another bit in here. Let's, uh, nothing on one, click on two. Oh, no. Strength. Eh, I'm going to break that down for components. Uh, I tend not to use a lot of those, except maybe the battle stimulant at the end, and especially since we have the skill to make battle stimulants. I'll have to see if that's actually cheaper. Fiber mesh and some other stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to spend some time, probably between streams, going over um, all the various gear that's floating around, because I've got a lot that... Uh, hello, Glitch. Can I walk through the door? Thank you. Alright. Uh, according to my notes, I know a few of the things are about to happen, and it's going to take a little bit more time, so I will save that for... The next episode. Well, it's the next episode if you're watching on YouTube. It is right after this brief intermission if you're watching live. So, if you got the time Fridays, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, watch live. You'll get to know the future. All right. Give me just a second to hit the intermission. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, 
even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.